Kate Rooney has more on that retail trade getting regulated. Um, there's a lot in this, but it's a back and forth. Oh, yeah. We've seen this play out since the GameStop and uh, meme stock mania we saw last year. But stock trading firms are gearing up for a potential overhaul of the plumbing in the industry, and they're not happy about it. This week, SEC Chair Gary Gensler proposing rule changes that would affect how Robinhood, TD Ameritrade, Schwab, and some of the other big brokerage firms have to handle customer stock trades and therefore how they make money. Gensler's plan would require firms to send customer orders to auctions where brokers would compete for the best price instead of going straight to the market makers like Citadel or Virtue on the back end. That's often called payment for order flow. You may have heard that term. Also looking for more disclosure around that practice. Gensler argues that change would boost competition. And all of this was sparked by the meme stock mania last year and questions over whether the average traders were getting the best price. Robinhood executives really punching back on that, saying it's never been a better time to be a retail trader. Chief legal officer and former SEC commissioner himself, Dan Gallagher, saying there's nothing wrong with the status quo right now. There's no commissions, there's no fees, and there's fast execution. Gallagher calls it, quote, a really good climate for retail, and to go in and muck with it right now is a little worrisome. He also called it disturbing on the policy side. He also points out that there is a very long road to getting this into law. We'll likely see some formal proposals this fall. It has to go through a comment period. We could also see potential lawsuits, Dee. Um, Kate, payment for order flow feels very early 2021 for me. <laughs> Everyone was worried about it. They didn't know yeah. exactly why. But then, you know, retail investors who had gotten into the market learned about it, realized this is why they could trade for free. And, you know, perhaps a lot of them are in a different phase now. They're not buying GameStop and AMC, but maybe they're doing more long-term investments. And does this sort of have the danger of maybe making it more expensive for those people to continue to trade and stay in the market, which many people say overall is a good thing. Yeah. If you're not trading, you're investing for the long Well, that term. could be one of the outcomes here, that retail traders have to go back to the way it was a few years ago and pay commissions, which the 15 or so million people that got into the markets in the last two years have been used to free trading. So that will likely be extremely unpopular if you have to go back right. and pay either a subscription or some sort of commission. And then Robin and others would argue that they're not a public utility, that they are a for-profit business and they are allowed to make money off of this stuff. And that is the model of brokerage firms. It's how it's worked. And it's a good thing for the retail traders. They would say, we're not a nonprofit, guys. Right. We got to make money off of this. And they're going to fight it. At the same time, though, Robin Hood's reputation was so damaged in that period with the confetti, even though they've done a lot to change the way the platform works. Payment for order flow and that sort of distrust around it. Yeah in 2021 is still plaguing the company. Look at the stock price, and yeah. it's just brutal. Absolutely. They took a big hit during the GameStop era, and they've done a lot to try to correct that and say, guys, this is the brokerage industry just way it's been for years, for decades before Robinhood came around, but they really were the poster child for payment forward to flow. Right. And we didn't even get to its cash pile, right? Robinhood has a lot of cash, <laughs> but it has to keep that there exactly. in case anything happens again. Uh, Kate, thanks very much. Thanks,